All right, guys, we're out here on one of our favorite little lakes to fish during the winter time. We're up. We're going to these different little docks where we catch fish moving up, feeding, doing whatever they're doing. They usually hold there once the temperature starts to drop. Winter time, spring time, most of those times we do pretty good here. But right now, they're all the way at the center of the dock. We're having to literally lay on the front of the boat up here and run our jig poles up under these docks. I'm fishing about two and a half, maybe three foot deep using popsicle jigs with a pink jig head. They're just barely bumping it, but you'll, you'll more see your line running than you do feel the fish on there. It's real hard to get up under there, but hopefully we'll catch a few more for y'all.
So as you can see, I'm fishing way up under this dock. There's no way I can set my hook, drive my hook through the fish's mouth, the traditional way of pulling up. So a lot of times when I get bite, you'll see me snatch my pole to the side like that to drive that hook on through the fish's mouth. Even though I'm not coming up, I'm still getting that hook to penetrate by snatching to the side. A lot of times though, you'll see me mess up like a while ago where we were fishing back there and then came back up here getting used to snatching your pole up you'll break your rod real easy fishing under these docks like this though it's something you'll have to get accustomed to after doing it a couple times Southern Pro Tackle. You can tell they done messed it up. I'm gonna have to get a new one here. They've been absolutely hammering it. it. Seems like we've ran into some small ones down here on this dock we moved to on down the lake. What we're doing here, there's a bunch of underwater tops under here. We we know most of the folks who are on these docks on this lake because we've lived here pretty well our whole lives. And like I say, we, we have an advantage because we know where most of the structure is already. Just like on that other one, fishing right under the center we knew those fish were going to be in there from previous experiences we have caught them on the outside usually when we come to these docks what we'll do is we'll start on the outside kind of fishing in real slow and then work our way towards the center of the dock and hope we find them before we get in there real tight like that because it's never a good situation fishing up under those docks like that another thing you want to stay as quiet as you can because a lot of i mean right now we're fishing three foot deep these fish are just right down there I mean, you set the hook and you immediately see the fish. You don't want to bump them or spook them, anything like that. And basically what I've been doing is I take my jig and I'll just swim him around a little bit and pop it every now and again. Make slack in your line. And usually on the fall, when that slack's going back down, you'll feel a good thump. And that's usually when he's there.
been fishing this dock probably 20 minutes. We've caught probably seven or eight. Most of them have been small, under six, seven, eight inches probably. I think I kept one fish here and he was, he was borderline keeping him. We were mainly catching them on some tops over there like I was talking about earlier. Now we're gonna ease over here, there's a stake bed. Kind of runs off the end of this dock. See if maybe we can pick up a keeper or so here. And then we're gonna run down and maybe try a top before we go back up and hopefully have enough time to hit that other dock we started out on, catch a few more keepers. It's getting cold, we're hungry. We've caught several crappie this evening up under docks mostly. We caught a couple around a dock, not really up under it, but still on top. Structure related to that dock guy had thrown out. We appreciate y'all watching. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Lord willing, we'll catch y'all next time.